Hey YouTubers, what's that fantastic video? I'm here in New Braunfels, Texas. I'm at one of the other cemeteries that's here in New Braunfels. Uh, last year I went to three of the cemeteries. Uh, this is the New Braunfels Cemetery that's uh, started in 1845 when the city was founded. Uh, it's called the New Braunfels Stadt Friedhof. I'm gonna go walk inside, go look at some of the graves, tombstones, and see if there's any. Again, New Braunfels was settled in 1845 by Prince Solms of Braunfels in uh, Germany. Robert Voigt. And you'll see the certain family names here. Uh, mother, father, or they're in German, Mutter and Vater. Again here also. And we'll see born 1880, 1879, Emma. And you'll see a child. 1911, 1915. It's a pretty big one. I'm gonna, here's to have two historical markers in here. I'll go to both of those. Here's the Schwab family. Schwab family's got a couple of roads named after it here. And Peterson family. Schwab Road's not actually too far from here where I'm at. Caroline Wetz. So I'll head towards that uh, first historical marker it looks like here. Cut across. There's some that are separated. Some of the info I had on here said there was 12,000 graves, but I, I don't see that many headstones. Again. Stats family, 1850, 1852 there. Hoffman. These are some real nice ones here. Born 1847, passed away 1885. There's a grave here, no uh, headstone. Eighteen forty one. Cougar. Shirts. Uh, the city of Shirts uh, family is what that city is named for, but these are not the ones. Uh, the family that the city of Shirts for is uh, buried in the Cibolo, Cibolo Cemetery near downtown Cibolo at the Lutheran Cemetery there. Both from 1890. That one says baby 1901 and then Louise Schroeder passed away in 1901 also. There's some uh, veterans over here. Lawrence Dawson, Major U.S. Air Force, World War II and Korea, passed away in 1984. And his wife Lorna Schertz Dawson. This is kind of cool, this Seabird. Got the lucky bird's got flowers here. And the wires stick it so you can water your the plants. Christopher Toll, born August 1826, passed away 1898. 
number 12. There's um, some children's graves over here. 1897-1900. One missing his headstone. So the children's ones either by the little angels or the little uh, lambs on top. Traditionally, they would put lambs on top. 1897. This young person, Marvin Wetz, 1910. Passed away in 1910. Only two months old. Some more children. Nazma baby. Well born Schwab baby. 1939. Three days apart from birth. Let me go to the looks like the first historical marker here. There was a flag here. But this says in memory of two of the founding fathers of New Braunfels, Hartong, Johann Frederick Christensen, born 10 July 1994 in Schallenberg, Prussia, Justina Frederick Engelhardt, Schroeder circa 1793, Schern, Scherndorf, Prussia, arrived in the Republic of Texas on the ship Herschel with five of their nine children, 8 December 1844. Very near here, plot number 275, 21 June 1885. Buried and then the other person Justina buried near here plot number 239 7 March 1884 placed by their descendants So two of the first founders of New Braunfels are buried here I'm both from uh, Prussia So let's look at the historical marker The New Braunfels Cemetery dedicated at the burial of Miss Elise Peter on June 23rd 1845 a few months after New Braunfels was founded this cemetery gave rest to many colonists in early years of hardships that besieged the German immigration company. Gerlach Peter, husband of first tenant, was buried in July as of one of the other 20 fatals in 1845. There were 348 burials in 1846. The ferry operator Johann Justus Kellner from 1821 to 1851 has the oldest stone. There are 753 marked and hundreds of unmarked graves. The last vacant lot was sold in 1945. No burials are allowed except in lots purchased before 1946 so someone's from 1945 and already bought their plot and they're still alive they are able to be buried here so there are only 753 marked graves wow the one website <laughs> looks like the city of New Braunfels has a project called Field of Graves Field of Grave is a project intended to memorialize German settlers that died after their journey to the area and were buried in New Braunfels Cemetery. City Cemetery committees raising funds for construction of the design. Hmm. Looks what they plan to do here, and those are all the. So here is this area, and then this circular area over here. Let me finish this side over here. There's some fenced in areas. Here's a veteran, uh, George W. Gold Sr., Texas First Class Private, Company D, Seal Force, passed away in 1932. Really can't read it, but. Looks like it says 1855 on this stone. Voigt families. This is all Voigt. You put this top of the stone, at least they put it back here. This is the last uh, couple days in October. It's the 24th. And it's about. That temperature pretty sure. It's about 85 degrees. It's supposed to get to 90 degrees today. The 24th in October.
Katarina Eliza Meckel, niece Steuben, from March 1824, passed away in 1900. Stone's missing his top. Born in 1853, passed away in 1896. Another Schwab uh, infant, looks like. Some creepy ones here, and when they built it, they etched their names on the top, so this ever gets. Jacob Mekinson, born 1809, passed away 1890. And then uh, hot. Marie Mac McKish, born 1850, 15, passed away 1889. Another one, the seashell design. Wow, this one's kind of weird. Born 1814, Jacob Schmidt, passed away 1874. But it looks like it's been open or just a stone on the side. Off me. I walked to the individual ones over there also, and then there's a historical marker over there. To the memory of the beloved husband, father, and brother, James Ferguson, born at Forgan Denny in Scotland, January 2nd, 1820, and died at New Braunfels, 1858. So somewhere from Scotland here. Katharina Schumann, 1815, passed away 1896. Cougar. Some more Schumann. Snyder's. They redid the concrete and they put the stone in there. It's kind of nice. Leonard Hasfelder. 1821, 1878. So they did the same thing to this one, but this is an older one. Put back up. So Henry Heinemann, Texas drum, ma drum major, 8th U.S. Cavalry. He passed away December 31st, 1933. Skull teeth. Pull this. Get another one missing the top of his stone. Here's a little one of lambs. Albert Orth, 1878-1879. Here's a plot, no stones in there. Missing. Wonder Woman. Another child. Not brick. Another child. These are the wind like these gentlemen. That one, Ernest Heinemann, Texas Private 3rd Cavalry, April 17, 1942, and his wife. And then Martin Heinemann, Private U.S. Army, World War II, passed away 1986. And next to him, George Franklin Heinemann, U.S. Army, World War I. Let's put your guys' flag back up. Thank you for your service. Again, another one. We've had a real dry summer and so far our fall, our beginning of our fall, even though it's 90 degrees, it's dry. You see the ground's cracked. Another child, the stone's missing off the top. And again, you saw that sign where the city of New Braunfels is trying to uh, Make this look nicer and beautify it. Curry, 1884, passed away. Another child. 
Margo yeah Margelli Peter Margelli oh man here's one that's falling down hopefully when they do that project here they the city they fix these up for them for the families Katarina Wetz there's a, a street near Marion Texas that's got that last name Mostly great. Some of the great start in 1845. The stones over time just falling, toppled over. This one probably look nice if it's polished up. That's the way 1889. There's another Schwab member. Very nice stone over there. Family, family. If any veterans around you, Braunfels, uh, from the VFW, see these flags. Some of these flags are in bad condition. Or members of the American Legion. He was an American Legion member. Another child right angel. A lot of founders of the city, so probably that one's in the Mason symbols yet. They'll probably, hopefully, the city comes and cuts this tree out. If not, it's going to topple the stone. Simon, born 1818. Well, I'm going to go to the historical marker over there, read that one. Then you can see the ground's all cracked. Okay, I don't know if it went with the... See, the ground's pretty cracked here. Go to this historical marker. Another headstone is falling. Again, that major road up there, that's Interstate 35. I'm on the west side of it, so Heinrich Schumann, another big stone, passed away. Ludwig family. Passed away, 1870. Now, this is weird. It's either weather real heavily and this type of stone they used, or someone came and scratched it off, didn't like the person. I've seen weird things like that before. So, this is Margaret Gunther Schertz, or GEB, so I guess that means main name. I'm not good with uh, German, of course. Um, 1932, or 1832, passed away in 1906. They got their own historical marker. Carl, which is on the left side here. Carl Heinrich Gunther, September 9, 1821, April 1870. Born in Prussia, Carl Heinrich Gunther immigrated to Texas in 1845. He was a community leader, one of New Braunfels' first public school teachers, and director of Germania, an early singing society in 1854. He was elected president of Stotts Sanger Fest, State Singers Festival, a statewide meeting of German political groups. They adopted an anti-slavery platform which represented an unpopular position in Texas. Gunther was among German Texas leaders who allied fears of disloyalty and despite his leanings, he joined the Confederacy becoming a captain. After his death, his wife Margaret Schertz, with whom he had six children, continued their brewing business here. Erected in 2010 for Carl Heinrich Gunther. From Prussia. These ones are really separated. A lot of the ones along that way and in the back are like main families. Some of them are the same names. 
I actually knew somebody with this name before, but um, M. Willenham Schmuck is the last name. S C H M U C K. And again, like I said, I'll go over there. Why that guy's out by himself? Henry E. Ward and then August E. Ward died March 1865. The first one I could read. Schmidt family. That's another one that's just in the. Oh, wow, this one's interesting. It's got weird designs on it. This is interesting. With the stars. Can't read the last name. Looks like they passed away in 1878. Kruger family. There's another potential flag on the ground. The whole stone's broken. Yeah, I'm gonna. What's that one? It looks like there's one in between. But these guys, these ones are all separated from the rest of the group. Eichel, Anna Eichel, passed away 1883, their infant. 1882, Andrew Eichel passed away 1889, and Barbara Eichel, 1829, 1905. It's to the Eichel family. Mother, father, there. The rest of it's missing. This one's completely missing, but the entrance to their gate. It's Hart Hartman. Family name was Hartman. Let me visit this one to the... I don't know if I should do one on Halloween or do something else. Well, here's one. Emma Morhoff Bush passed away in 1942. Again, this is out here and like the first historical marker said there might be more people here. They just didn't have headstones. So this, this sets almost all the way on Grape Avenue and Elliott Knox Road, which borders Interstate 35. A war veteran. Woo! Almost damn pale. Schaefer. Philip Schaefer, Captain Company A, Texas State Troop, Confederate States Army. Passed away July 17, 1911. And then Carolina Schaefer was his wife's name. Passed away in 1923. So that was a CSA veteran. Okay. I'm walking into this group that's going towards the fence. So, so far in here, two historical markers, one's for the grave, and then uh, another little marker for two of the founders, and then another one for one of the first school teachers here, Walt Schmidt. Walt Schmidt family. 
Fritz Wilhelm Fritz, 1881 1939 Henry C. MSC C family S E E E Started in here and I'd made my way over there. It's a decent sized cemetery. Walk around. It's a regular walk around, it was about 35 minutes. Probably make the video a little bit shorter. I head my way out. There's a big hole next to this one. so this family plot like the thing said the marker said if it was bought before 1946 um there's still buried people here um here's a family plot this one's from 2020 so they bought their family plot before 1946 Okay, I'm gonna head out. Sounds kind of interesting. Jonas. Born 1859, passed away 1942. Kind of get a glimpse where I had on the road here. What's that fantastic little fans will say here? I visit the New Braunfels Cemetery, one of the other cemeteries in New Braunfels. There's a, a few of them here. Um, this one's here along Interstate 35 off Knox Boulevard and Peach Avenue. Um, this is one of the original cemeteries that the founders uh, designed and uh, put in their city plan. Uh, from 1845 when the city was founded some of the original founders were in here if you guys like this video go and like share subscribe have a good day adios